Hello guys and welcome to JC Tutorials. In today's video I will show you how to access your PLDT home prepaid Wi-Fi dashboard. There have been a lot of questions on the comments and hopefully this video will enlighten you. Please watch till the end as your questions might be answered already in the video. Before we start please show your support by subscribing to my channel, thank you. Now, we can do this by using a computer or by using your phone. We'll use a computer first. You can just connect to the Wi-Fi or you can also connect using the LAN cable, if you don't have a wireless LAN card. After connecting open a browser. Input the router's IP address which is 192.168.1.1. This is now the PLDT prepaid dashboard. As you can see it only shows a password box, no username. The default password is in the bottom of the router, it's PLDT Home. Once inside you can now see your Wi-Fi settings. You can see all the details here in the Dashboard tab. Internet tab shows your network settings. Home network shows the IP address and DHCP settings. It even have a phone book tab, amazing. Next is the SMS tab, here you can send and receive messages, especially the one-time password or OTP code. Please take note though that Smart has a problem now, as of the time of the recording May 31st, where the OTP is none at all, or would arrive very late that the OTP will just be invalid. Next tab is the wireless tab. Here you can change your Wi-Fi settings like the password, and the SSID or the Wi-Fi name. Just input the password and Wi-Fi name you desire and click the save button. And finally the router tab, with the reboot option and restore function. Now let's go back to the SMS tab, and I will try to send a text message just to make sure it's working. And there you go, I received my own message, but I can't receive any OTP for verification, that's so sad. Now let's access the dashboard using a mobile phone. After connecting to the Wi-Fi, you need to open a browser and it should not be Google Chrome, because it will just say, this site can't be reached. So go to Play Store and get a basic browser, this is what I choose and installed. Once installed you can now access the IP address just like in a computer. So those who can't access it, the problem may just be with Google Chrome. So just use a different browser. Hopefully this video helped. Make sure to subscribe and see you on my next video, bye bye.